Gilchrist. I'm your host, Haley Green, and welcome to the 2018 Benevolent Care Gala. As you can see, we have traveled back in time. It's going to be one heck of a party. I have my eyes open for Leonardo DiCaprio. I know he's here. He's hiding somewhere. But don't worry, because there's plenty of stars throughout the night that we can talk to. So come along with us, grab your champagne, and get ready to party. Contrary to popular belief, I am old enough to get into the speakeasy. I think it'll be really simple. We just have to get through security. So maybe we can figure out the password. What's the password? <laughs> Sorry, doll face. You don't have it. You don't get in. What if I put you on TV? Uh, shut that off. You're not allowed to. Uh uh. No. No. What's that? That <laughs> didn't work either, doll. We'll be back. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite part of going to the gala from a resident perspective? From my perspective, seeing people turn out, seeing the residents turn out. And, bringing, and bringing enjoying being or, here yeah. with everybody and watching them dance and have fun. Shadow, actually. <laughs> and, and Bev, I think we're twinning. I think we did that absent mind. See? I know. Great, great minds think alike. Exactly, exactly. So, can you tell us a little bit about how much work goes into an event like this? How are you? Uh, have you lost sleep? Are you excited to? We can't even explain how much work goes into <laughs> this event because our heart and soul goes into this event. And then we do, we, you know, we get some great ideas and we run with them. and. You know, we bounce things off each other and we're like, no, that's not going to work. And then somehow it does, you know, either Beverly takes the lead, you know, like our little antique cars outside. That, you know, was, I thought of that a long, long time ago. And I, and I finally, I just gave up on it because we just couldn't, I'm like, oh, it's so much work to go find the, the people. She went and did it, you know, and she walks into the office one day and like, I got them, they're coming. And I'm like, you're kidding. <laughs> So, you know, it was just like it added something to the event that people are going to remember. And, you know, we just love that, you know. We love this theme because it works so well with the residents. They got such a kick out of it. And there's so many of the residents dressed up. So we're going to have to really, I think, sort of think more about that. So one last very important question. Can you ladies tell me the password to the speakeasy? No. I quit. Executive Director Mark Rousey and Associate Executive Director Kevin Gedeke. Clearly my hat was left somewhere else. Um, hi gentlemen, how are you? How are we doing tonight, the Good. Roaring Twenties? So what number gala is this for you gentlemen? This is number seven. And Kevin? Uh, this is number two for me, I'm almost a rookie. <laughs> so, so far where does this fall in your... I would your have own? to say with all the costumes and folks really being in character for the Roaring Twenties, this has got to be one of the best ones ever. This is awesome. I've never seen so many people dressed up before. It's great. Is it more fun when the when you get to see everyone dressed up and the theme? Yeah, I think it does because it speaks that you know that people really take this you know to, to heart and they, they, they want to have a good time and uh, being dressed up and everything. It's just, just a really special time. So, what do you think events like this and the Benevolent Care Fund? What do you think they mean to the residents here at Oakcraft? Well, it means uh, kind of those three words: peace of mind. So I know Kevin and I uh, meet with many families and residents that go through a certain time in their life where health care costs increase, and it's a time when the family is very upset, very stressed out about mom and dad, 
and also the residents about money that they've worked their whole lives for that goes so fast. And for us to say everything's going to be okay, we're going to take care of everything, means a lot. And you can tell the, the stress, the anxiety, the worry goes away. And it's the promise we have when residents move into Oak Crest, they have a place for life. And that's a great promise. We just appreciate all the generosity tonight that are raising money for this cause. I'm here with our station manager, Josh Runkles. Josh, you having fun tonight? Man, a few words. We'll continue on. So far this evening, this has been really quite elegant. I had the opportunity to meet people who support us and who really give us a lot of uh, contributions to our Benevolent Care Fund. And it's so nice to renew those friendships year after year after year. That's really neat. So as a resident here, what does it mean to you to have something like the Benevolent Care Fund? I was going to tell you, the Benevolent Care Fund is something that every single resident here should focus on and know that this is what supports us for our home for life. We never have to worry about losing our money with circumstances that don't bother, you know, that we don't figure on. And it just is a wonderful opportunity for the Benevolent Care Fund to do their fundraising towards the end of the year. And this is, hey, we can all come and have a great time, and yet a lot of our money goes to the contribution for the Benevolent Care Fund. So one last very important question. Can you tell me the password to the speakeasy? To the speakeasy. Yep, 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 yep. I did have it. I had it when I went in there. I think you're pulling our leg. No, So being in community resources, you obviously have a lot of daily interaction with um, the residents. So how excited do they get for this event? And, and is it something that they look forward to every year? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's always a lot of buzz around the gala and everyone loves to talk about what the theme's going to be and how they're going to dress. And I know, especially with this one, with it sort of being a fun theme with costumes and everything, everyone was saying, oh, wait till you see me Saturday. I'm going to have a surprise costume or something like that. So it's nice. Yeah. And Dana, you coordinated, obviously, all of our volunteers tonight, both staff and residents. So what is that process like for you? Do you get a lot of excited volunteers willing to help? Oh, yeah. It's not. It's no problem at all filling up the, the, all the slots. So we have 27 volunteers here tonight. Yeah, so we're, they, and they all, they enjoy, they all dress up. I think everybody went on Amazon like I did <laughs> and bought our dresses. What are you doing? I, uh, you know, I, I, th I think the car, the, the gun, it, it looks good on me. I think it's a good, this is my new life now. What? Come on! I, I know my, my Uncle Joe and uh, is around the corner and he's watching things and we got a place like out in the woods, you know what I'm saying? And uh, some really good moonshine. Oh, I, I shouldn't have said that, right, Kevin? So we're going to the woods. What are you doing? Uh, definitely not trying to take this car. Bye. What? You cannot get good help these days. It has 
been an incredible night here at the Benevolent Care Gala. My feet are tired. I think the residents' feet are tired. I don't know about Mark's because he was all up and about today. Uh, my All of my dreams have finally come true. I made it to the speakeasy, so this is where you will find me for the rest of the night. But it's been an incredible month of planning for the gala and a, an incredible night of transporting us all the way back to the 1920s. I never did find Leonardo, but the night is still young, so I'll keep you posted. Uh, but don't forget, if you need to know more about the Benevolent Care Gala, you can speak to the philanthropy office. I'm sure they'd love to tell you more about it. Uh, I'm your host, Haley Green. I'm done for the night, but we will see you right back here next year. Have a good night, Ocrest.